G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to pouring your heart out and I'm going to pour my little heart out today with some petri pours, resin petri dish pours. Now initially I had bought this little mould here to do pendants and it came with some bezels or cabochon trays and there's a, a teardrop a square, a heart, an oval, and a round. They're only little, um, but you can only do, in this mould, you can only do that heart, which actually doesn't fit, it's a bit small, the heart doesn't fit into that. That teardrop, which is really deep, there's a little, that's the, that's the round, is that the round? Yep, maybe. Uh, no, that's the round there. That's the round. It's very deep though, like it comes up to there, um, and that's the oval. So yeah, you can only do like one of each in there because these are all different sizes. So I thought, hey, let's make a mold. So that's what I did, and I made this guy. Isn't it beautiful? So I've got the rounds, the hearts, and the ovals. Now the only trays that have arrived so far are these round ones. So. And that's the glass cabochon. So I think what people do is maybe they stick a photo or some dried flowers or maybe some acrylic skins or whatever they want to underneath that and then they glue it down. But I thought, well, what if I make my own like out of resin and make your own little art? You can do petries, you can do feathering, you can do whatever you want. And then you've got your resin piece and you just stick it in there. It comes with a gorgeous chain. What do you think? So I'm going to do some of these... Um, rounds today and uh, see how they go looking in fitting into my little tray now there's two types of feathering i guess there's the thicker feathers i'll come up and show you and then there's the tiny little feathers which you, t you tend to get more in um like a petri dish i'm just trying to put you on to autofocus for a sec so these are the um, bigger featherings. Hopefully you've seen me make those. Those are with resin pigment pastes and alcohol inks. So you get that effect. With just alcohol inks you get these effects. Alright, you can see the difference. The Because the pigment paste is so heavy it makes bigger feathers. So this is just alcohol inks. And uh, I'm going to have a go at those today. Oops. Have another go. Because these I just did in a different mould. But um, we'll see how we go in my new mould today. Um, so there's been a lot of people doing these sort of petri, feathery paws, whatever you want to call them on, on Facebook. Um, most people... I think that because I've been watching videos, because Petries have been around for donkey's years, um, I've been watching a lot of videos. People tend to drop the ink in um, and then they drop their white on top. So this is the Magic White. It's the Pinata Blanco Blanco. Um, I mix my colours together and I put them in little cups like this just so I can get the shade that I want. Um, as I said, yeah, most people that I've seen, except for one, Everyone else drops the colour and then drops the white on top. I did watch some videos of a lovely lady called uh, Josie Lewis, I think it was. Um, and she actually mixes her white in with the colours. So that's what I'm going to do today. Mix my colours together. So I am going to go and mix up my resin. I'm going to mix up my colours. I'm only going to do a little bit. I um, might do these. I'll do those in one colour and then those in another colour. Um, and we'll see how we go. And I've got to work pretty quick because when they're in the little cups, they because it's alcohol, they evaporate really quickly. So um, I'm waiting for my little dropper, um, little like needle dropper bottles to come in, and then I can mix up my own. But at the moment, I can only do a few because yeah, the, the alcohol just evaporates, and I've got no color left at all. But I'm going to mix up some resin and some colors, and I will be right back. Right, I'm back. I've made up my resin. I've done these eight here and you can see that there's bubbles in the center so I'm just going to 
hit them with my little tiny blowtorch. Is it working? Yes. <laughs> just get a really tiny little one because you don't want to melt your mold. You just want to aim just for those little bubbles in the center. They all come to the middle. So you pour your resin and then you just wait for them to come into the center while you're doing a few other things. Um, and that's it. Right, I've got my colors. I've got a green, I've got a turquoise, and I've got a blue. So I'm going to use, just move you guys out of the way for a minute so I don't knock you over. I'm going to start with my green. And I'm just going to do three drops. Give you a bit of a stir again. One, two, three. I haven't filled them up too much, my little molds. One, two, three, because I don't want them overflowing. One, two, three. I think three to four drops. We'll see what happens. I'll come back if I've got any left to put in that one. I think I'll just pour that in. Like I said, I only make up little amounts because um, it evaporates and then I've got none left. I have got enough to do these four. See, it's gone already. <laughs> I've got none left. It's all empty. All right, let's go on to the next color. But you don't need a lot. Is there any little? Three or four drops, I think. I'm still experimenting. I'm only new to this. One, two, three. And hopefully we can get enough out to do that last one. It's all gone again. All right, the green. Oh, there's some bubbles in that one. Oh dear. I can see bubbles down the bottom. Hopefully that will spread out. I haven't got a lot of colour on here. Hopefully it's enough but yeah like it's all gone already <laughs> i try to get some more and it's all gone well, hopefully hopefully it'll spread because that's it i haven't got any more okay phew that's those colors done um i'm gonna go and mix up my next batch of colors um and uh, i'll be right back Right, so next lot of colours made up. So I've got the orange, the turquoise and the blue. I made up a tiny little bit more this time just so I could put in an extra drop. She look as if you need a little bit more in that one. Whoa, whoops. Oh no. Too much. Okay, here we go with the orange. Let's pour some into our little spoon. And we'll do four drops. One, two, three, four, and then the turquoise. I found that if I do all the orange first, this orange spreads all the way across and then they kind of blend too much. One, two, three, four, and I do like them to sort of stay a little bit separate. One, two, three, four. I'll do this one because I've already got it in my hand. Three, four. Oops, you're a bit full, aren't you? That one. One, two, three, four. 
and then not pour it over the top in case I spill hay. One, two, three, four. And I've just done what I said I wasn't going to do. I forgot. Oh my gosh. You get carried away when you're doing this. You forget to stop and think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. What did I do for? One, two. I haven't got any left. Three. Four. <laughs> it goes so fast and it's all gone again. Oh my gosh. All right, orange. This is the one that's got a couple of bubbles in it. I can see one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One more little drop. I think that's it. I don't want to crowd it. So that's it. <clears throat> now, whatever you do, don't torch these, okay? Because they'll... They'll catch on fire, you know, they've got alcohol in them. <laughs> Do you like this bomb Alaska flambe with flames everywhere? Right, so it is 10 to 9 in the morning. I'm going to come back in about 20, 25 minutes and just test the resin um, and see if it's got to that sort of sticky stage yet and then I'll give it a swirl with um, a toothpick or a pin. We'll see. All right, I'll be back then. So I am back. It's been 25 minutes and um, let's have a little test of this and see what it's doing. So I'm just going to pick a little bit up and see if it leaves a, a sticky train. So it does. All right, so that's it. I'm going to swirl. I'm um, just going to do the top. I'm not going to go very deep, I don't think. Just like so. <laughs> oh, there's that long sticky thread. There we go. And I guess it's up to you how much you want to swirl. Just trying to incorporate that edge there. Looks as if I'm going to have some clear there, which I don't think I've had before. A bit of clear. All right, let's do the next colour. This one feels thicker, maybe because I've done it second, my resin might have... Oh no. Maybe, maybe it's set up a bit more because it's been sitting longer before I added the colour, I, I don't know. It just feels different, unless it's got more colour in it. I don't know could just be my imagination <laughs> all right so now that it's swirled we've incorporated a bit of air in there so we will have to torch and uh, all the alcohols evaporated now so you don't have to worry about it catching fire but um, we just have to wait and see if there's some bubbles that pop up and you will need to just give them a little zap if there are any there's a couple in that one There's one in that one. So I'll wait a few minutes and see if anything else, any other bubbles rise to the surface and then I'll I'll hit them again. Um, I'll do them an hour and then I'll just check it again in a little while because there are they are coming up. And I don't want the bubbles to spoil. And this one already has got bubbles in it. I saw that. It was close. It was underneath though. Like I couldn't get them. Oh, that's a bit sticky. All right, so that's it. Um, I'm going to cover them up and I'm just going to leave them there till tomorrow and then we'll unmold and see if they worked, hey? It was so exciting. Just one step forward, two steps back with this. Any any new procedure that you learn, you know, you have one that works and then the next day it doesn't work and then you think, what have I done? But yeah, I'll just keep practicing. It's fun to learn something new. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. 
Oh, I've been waiting so patiently for these to set. Alrighty, shall we get them out? Oh, I hope they work. Let's have a little look. I hope I've got good light in here today. I wanted to unmold this morning, but I had to go to work. So <laughs> I raised home. It's dark outside after work, so hopefully we've got light in here. All right, I'm going to put my hand over like that so that I can hopefully focus. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got some little featherings. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I was hoping for small little feathers, but we've got bigger ones in here. So really pretty colours though. Sorry about the lights and the reflections. It's really hard to to get a good shot at night in the studio. Look at that. It's like a little world going on in there, isn't there? Its own little world. Okay, let's get the next one out. It's not quite what I was hoping for, but never mind. Let's have a look at this one. They all seem to be different. I don't know why. Maybe it's I put more ink in one and less in another. I don't know. Turn it around a little bit. This one's this one's more of what I was expecting. But we have got some area at the top there. See, look at that. It's actually I probably didn't put enough ink in that one because we've got some negative space there. Oh, a little bit of negative space, like it's coloured, but it hasn't got those feathers on it. Just trying to focus. It's so hard to focus. Look at that. It's really pretty. I wonder if it's easier if I go around the other side of the table. I don't know. Just getting reflections. All right, let's have a look. This one. Oh, look at that one. That one you can see the swirl. Could you see the swirl in the other? Not really. No, you can't really see this. I might have swirled a bit early. But you can see the swirl on this one for sure. I don't know why each one's so different, like they were all poured at the same time, all exactly the same, you know, recipe, but yet they're all different. There's a good shot. I like this one. Maybe this is my favourite. You can see the green, you can see the light blue, you can see the dark blue. Still also got some negative space there in that little area there that I'll just have to file. A bit of overflow there. Really pretty. I wonder if I come around this way. We're going to get so much glare on this side. Mm, it's no better. It's still kind of reflecting the my camera. I'll go back over here. Right. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. I guess it's going to be the same. Someone got the negative space? Oh, not as much, just a tiny little bit of clear there. Maybe I need to put a little bit more ink in, hey. But you can see the swirl, you can see the different colours in there. Sorry, it doesn't know what to focus on. Oh, maybe I won't get so close there. That's better. Really pretty. You can see the dome on it. Look at that. It's the dome. Right, let's have a look at the next colour, hey, shall we? Let's see if these have worked any differently. These were the, um, the orange and turquoise and blue. Hmm. That one hasn't really worked the way I expected. <laughs> I don't know why. We've got like more of the featherings happening. Like it's still really pretty. It's like some little 
plant formation, isn't it? See the dome on it there, lovely shiny dome. I have to try and take some nice photos outside tomorrow. And we've got some better light. You see, I don't know, I've used these colours before. And um, I did that. So I, I don't know why, but I didn't video this one. But I don't know why I'm not getting the same effect again. I don't know. There we go. Right, there's that one. Let's have a look at the rest of them. I'll try and be a bit quicker. That one's about the same. Really pretty effects. You can see that turquoise there on the side. Okay, two to go. Same. Don't know why it's like that. Maybe it's got something to do with my resin getting thicker because these ones, you know, were the second ones I did. I'm not sure whether, you know, five minutes makes a difference because it is different, you know, to, to that one. Um, but it did sit longer before I poured it, so I don't know. I have to keep experimenting, I guess. Well, that one hasn't got as many. Oh, gee, I wish I could get rid of that glare. That one's a bit different again. That one hasn't got as many of the the wispy pieces, has it? I wish I could film these better. I'm sorry, it's just it's so hard because they <clears throat> they're domed and they they're picking up, you know, glares and reflections from everywhere. It's much easier with the flat piece. So there we go. It's like looking at down the planet from up in space, isn't it? <laughs> the desert and the grass and all the forest and the the ocean. Right, let's see what they look like in here. Oh, I'll get my favourite one. This is my favourite one. Actually, there's a little bit of... I'm just going to file that. Hang on. Hang on. One sec. I'll be right back. That's better. Let's give it a little file. Right. Let's see what it looks like. Work out which way I want is the top. Mm. Probably mm, that way, I think. Let's have a look. Slot it in. <gasps> Perfect. It fits perfectly. Look at that. <gasps> I just have to wait for it to cure and then I can glue it down. I'll have to work out what is the best thing to glue it down with. There we go. There she is. It looks so pretty, hey? Love it. I'm happy with that one. Alrighty. So I'll leave it at that. See if I can focus a bit better for you. Um, and then I will... Take a photo outside tomorrow. And show you the finished product in the sunshine, hopefully, if I don't get too many reflections. Oh, so much to look at. I don't know where to look first. It's really pretty. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little video, even though these ones didn't work the way I was hoping to. You know, some, there was one that I didn't really like. Um, oh, these ones the other day. And I'm um, just... Like, they weren't my favourites, and people said they they loved them, like that one, because it, it didn't work the way I wanted it to, but lots of people really liked it. So 
It's funny, isn't it? Just because you don't like something or you're not happy with it or maybe it just wasn't what I was expecting, um, other people really liked it. And that one as well. I mean, that one looks like little mushrooms. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll keep experimenting because it's fun to do. And uh, I'll see you for the next video, but I'm happy with that one. Hey, I had to make eight to get one good one. <laughs> All right, I'll see you for the next video. I'll, I'll do some more experimenting. Okay, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye for now.